the stump pinch. Ante takes it. He had to juggle it, did Ronke, but eventually got it in the stumps. Roy Sharma was in far enough down the, the pitch that it was pretty easy in the end. Beautifully bowled. Great view here. Ronke juggled. He didn't panic. He did exceptionally well. Satna. It's the turn that he was able to do. He deceived in the air. Back down edge, another wicket, the third one down, Rainer's second delivery, he just chips it to short for wicket, closes the face of the bat, leading edge, and who would have thought, chasing 127, India would find themselves 12 for 3. Amazing start for New Zealand, Mitch Satner, this was dragged down a little bit, he probably thought, oh no, just about an arm ball that stuck in the wicket, Rainer tried to turn it around. Given. I must confess, I'm a little surprised that late before, batsman is waiting. In disappointment, head down. It's Richard Illingworth who's made that decision, and that's a six wicket down. Santner gets the wicket. There he goes for the biggie. Oh, what a catch! Nathan McCollum. Pulls off a scorching catch, and that has broken the hearts of India and 45,000 people in Nagpur. Brilliant catch from Nathan McCullum, and MS Dhoni, the captain's on the way back. It's a fourth wicket for Mitch Santner. It's 79 for nine. Well, India had no options. Dhoni had no options. He had to go for the big hit. It got just a little too close to the ball, so it didn't get the elevation. And what a catch! New Zealand's fielding has been outstanding.